He's won a lot of darts matches over the years. He's won, in point of fact, four quarterfinals in this very competition. He's played five, he's won four. The only man ever to beat James Wade at this phase of the Grand Slam was Philip Taylor. And that was ten years ago. Yeah, the runner-up in 2010, 16 and 20, James Wade. Looking to go one better. As you can see, the graphics, first to 16. This really is a long, drawn-out format. And there he is again. He took out 60 in the first leg, 70. Still down to James Wade. Do it over a best of 31. Well, now Rock has a two-dart combo. Wade is waiting on one. Tops for the Northern Irishman. Brilliant in the circumstances. That was a, du a double. It's the first one he's had. And it well, he's on 2-6-3, so be up to your work, James. Yes, he's on the ball. Joshua Can he really like the blue touch paper here? It won't go out, but it will be left handy. They do him a disservice. That's better than handy. It's double 18. 60. The players, or most of the players of today, go 257s, but James is old school. 60. Joshua Maguire, 56. That appears hit the wire between 14 and 9 for mine. That is in the wire that he wanted, right in the bed he wanted. Southwest area of the dartboard. In any regard, Wade with another mid range finish of 64, 96, 70, he missed 96, 76 he took out, the 60 he took out. So there's been a lot of those in this match. And yeah, he's two clear again. 305. The right shot you get told is to go for the 18s first. It, it does you no favours at all. Because if you hit a 54, you then need to hit another two trebles to leave a finish. So maybe the pros need to rethink that. Basically, I'm calling them all wrong. Come for the arrows action, stay for the Mardell Masterclass. Leaves 170. The champagne shot, Rodri. Treble 19. Oh, yes, Josh. Middle of the board. Brilliant finish. Sensational finish. Wade has been tidying up the bread and butter. Rematch wasn't it on stage. Yes. A competitor. Yes. That's what he is. He's a proper match play dartist. 96. It's seldom you can have a bad day at the office and beat James Wade. A relentless starting machine. Those numbers on the screen will not interest James Wade one I.O. So he couldn't care less if Rock is averaging more than him. <laughs> That's right. In fact, sometimes I think he actually enjoys it when his opponent out-averages him and he still wins the game. It's a badge of honour. You don't have to play well every leg. You do not. Well, he's already taken out 1 3 2. The 1 4 1 is not going to happen. James Wade won the first batch of legs. 5 3 2. This would be for another 3 2. That leaves tops. He won't mind leaving that. But he hasn't hit it this time. Thirty-eight tops. Fifty-eight. James McBride twenty. His favourite double. But now he has to hunt double five. He hits double five. And James Wade. Smith, the reigning champion, the world number one, the world champion, to to stay in the event. That was like the the knockout uh, within the group phase for him. He come through that.
He didn't just beat him, Wayne, did he? He put him away to some tune. He did, yes. 5 1, was it not? It is indeed. So, 57. under pressure, we know what he does. He knows what he does. And Josh Rock knows what he does. Look at the second set, which is incredible. Or second oh, session, should I say. Looking to leave 64, 100. having to settle on leaving 104. That could make a significant difference. The new route the guys predominantly go for 104 is 48, but James does not. He loves this. 64 tops. He is brutal. He is deadly. He has been the best. I can remember watching darts when a visit of 60 was a decent score. The days when you were playing Wayne. 55s and 95s, yes. But there were but points. But it was, wasn't it? Yes, you, if you kicked off a tongue under pressure, you, you were forcing your opponent. Nowadays, it, it, it really is different. They play so often, they're under pressure so often, they're so used to it. 14th leg. Is it the one that Josh Rock takes to level up the match? Hasn't been leveled since four each. Yes. Oh, now this is a real move. Sixty. Oh, he couldn't. We, we say typical way that would have been typical way, but for a level game, seven seven. Twelve segment leaves the ball with the single, hits the ball. Oh, Josh Rock with a real throw, and it would have left one sixty clearly. Rather than 160, 170, wouldn't you, Wayne? Not now he's missed. Now he's missed it. We're right. <laughs> We're always right in the commentary books. Now then, couldn't take out 141 in the last leg. Can't take out 142. And Josh Rock, we've seen, he's adept whether he comes inside double 18 or not. James, for the last three or four minutes, has thrown some low stroke, poor darts. He'll get this, he loves nines. Or maybe not. Oh! We're never right in the commentary box. James Wade wants the top of the shop to lead again. He has not been behind in this darts match. He's from the time he, he releases the last dart. So he kind of gets out the way for the the incoming player. Watch him now. He's kind of really rapid and gets out the way. Let's the player do their thing. Yeah, just he yeah, he just wants to keep it going, doesn't he? He, he, he likes to feel that he's, he's running things at his pace. Wade won't be drawn into that. Oh, not a chance. Another there. Brilliant for double 18. Sensational! Come out in the rush, man. Yes. <laughs> now, a big one here would give him a chance of hunting down Wade on his own throw. It's not enough, you feel. There's been a lot of breaks to throw the match. Nine in total, five by Wade and four by Josh Rock. Yeah, I think when you get a game with such high scoring and brilliant finishing, it's a recipe for. Breakages. I decided to switch away and really wish he hadn't done. At least 52, 12 for tops. He's only missed three darts at a double in the whole match. Low again. He'll feel he should have had two darts at double at the end of that leg there. He only got one, and that yeah. could be important, very important. Single. 
six for double 18. And Josh Rock is level now with a fourth three figure out shot. Yeah, Josh's first start of that 32 in the previous leg, it just seemed to slide away, maybe hinder him. We're in the 24th leg of a possible 31. Some kind of fly, moth, whatever it may be, just putting James off. Treble 18. I hope Josh won't mind me saying this. He's been disgusting on treble 18. But he gets the reprieve he wanted. And he can extend his advances again here. Big 20 to leave the top of the shop. And he is on top. 13-11, so he's creeping closer now. It should be 14-11. Not only is the scoreline the problem, the way he's throwing is the problem, and added on to that, Josh Rock is averaging 102. James Wade has been very, very good. Josh Rock has played better up to now. 26 left, double 13. Just shows you nowadays 60s and 59s get you nothing. from Josh Rock to put him one dart away from getting one leg away from the semi-final. As a player, it's lovely when you're at a maximum to leave tops. Just feels so good for a 13 dart leg. He may only be 22. Not good. A tenth 180 would hurt. Wow. Treble 19. Really needs it now. And he finds it to leave the bullseye. Well, you've got to hand it to this man. He's on the brink of defeat. It could have been the last dart he throws. This has become interesting. He's still up there throwing, that's all that matters. He yeah. could have been shaking hands down. 100. That hurts, James. 20 140s each. He's really in the territory now where he's got to go out in two visits. And that will help him do just that, because it leaves 1-2-1. One, one. We've just seen a bullseye finish from Wade. We may see another one. Can Rock wrap it up? No, he can't. Took out 1-2-6 in the last leg to stay in the match. Got to take out 1-2-1 one, one to stay in the match. Treble 11. Bullseye now. What an incredibly well-thrown dart. My word, we norm, almost saw 1-2-6, one, 1-2-1, two, one, two, one, both on the bullseye to get within one. But Rock now wants another 20. Tops for the match, tops for the semi-final, for the young Northern Irishman.
can't find it. Well, he's under the same management as Rob Cross. It, he was going through the whole cross scene then. Wow. Josh Rock has had a dart at tops to book his place in the semi-final as James Wade walks back, puffing his cheeks like, oh, well, this is all a bit of a chore, isn't it? Really, he's thinking about it, isn't he? There are people who wonder how James Wade has won so many big major titles. This is why he's won so many major titles. Yeah. If he goes on and wins this match, this should be played to every single newcomer about how to do it. Hang in there, never give up. Match point again. Treble 18. Couldn't find a trouble with either of the first two darts, and that opens the door to James Wade. This match is level, this match goes all the way. This match will be won by the player who wins. The Rock has the darts. About three hours ago, he won the bullseye in the back room to give him the advantage of throwing in this leg. It's okay. Only a 180 really hurts. Oh, what a dart from James Wade. That first one was so far away, it wasn't even a marker. Honestly, now. Well, 136 plays 121. It couldn't be much closer. He can't finish. Wade now. 96. He'd make him favourite from here. He's at a 1 2 6. Can he check this out? He can now. The 11 segment. Finds the treble. Double 14. Oh, it was that close to completing the most remarkable comeback. He has refused to accept defeat. Josh Rock must have felt his world was falling apart. But now he's got three darts in his hand and he wants double top. Both players have now had a dart to win this match. But it's Josh Rock who has three in hand for it. He's taking hell of a long time. It's really hard to reach when you take this long. Got to get it up there. Got to get it there. Look at James, look at James. He's seen it all before. He's seen it all, he's seen it all. Josh Rock cannot believe what he's witnessed. James Wade has refused to count this defeat. He survived four match starts. Oh, now it's double three. All the fun of the fair. They're not laughing up there. And James Wade, who refused to accept defeat, has won. One of the greatest wins of his long and illustrious career. Funny that Gary probably playing Luke. He's probably thinking, you know, I invented the style of darts you'd use. The way you play, the, the way you approach the game. I invented it. I was doing it first. I can do it better than you. He's, he's trying to get that message across here early going. Needs a trouble to get down to a finish to join Humphreys, and he's got it. Two of the biggest finishes in the game, staring at these two. And it's important to get this leg for Humphreys because he wants to get at least one leg on the ball. And there it is, a 170 in the fourth leg of this quarterfinal. The weird thing is that Gary Anderson has not been going on runs deep in TV tournaments all the way through this year because he has been brilliant in all the tournaments in which he's played. Highest average out of anybody 
in all forms of darts this year. And it's coalescing at his favourite tournament. And set this up, I believe. And he does. Highest average of anybody. When you say it like that, it's impressive. Well, that's impressive from Luke Humphreys, but again, he's relying on Anderson missing. And that doesn't happen. Gary Anderson, the flying Scotsman. It's a finish, but really, really poor, given the potential for Anderson to punish it. Troubleless visit and scoring phase from Gary Anderson. It just releases the pressure a little bit on cool hand. Hasn't exactly made the most of it. Yeah, this is uh, seemed to be a poor leg. It probably isn't all that bad, but in the overall context of the match, not great. Has the treble he wants. Now requires tops. He's three out of three on the doubles, Luke Humphreys. There's a break in here, holding throw, getting back level terms. Another max from Coolham. <laughs> Start the leg with one, set up visit to leave 41. And Gary can't match the 170 out that Humphreys had earlier in the game. So double 16. For that break of throw, double eight. And that is surprising. Uh, the effectiveness of his doubling. In the last couple of legs. First darts missed at double by Cool Hand Luke Humphreys. Another in there. Beautiful leaves double ten. And Anderson stops him in his tracks. Well, that's that's this. As you can see from the reaction, this is just little spell. It's not coming as easily to Anderson as it was earlier. And things start look like they're starting to happen for Luke Humphreys. Well, all these 180s from Luke, I think they serve as if in boxing, like uh, body blows. I think it's just winding Gary a bit, having trying to keep up on the scores. He can, but he's feeling it. He's feeling that necessity, and that doesn't always help you play. Nicely set up by Luke Humphreys. <laughs> he tried to hit the 180 to leave double three. A distraction as much as anything else. Double ten. His eyes are not diverted from the target, and Luke Humphrey. When he was desperate to stay on the 20s, three single 20s would have got to a finish. In the end, despite the bounce out, he's down to one anyway, because he finds the treble. Really, it would be a level game if it weren't for that Gary Anderson 1 2 8 checker. Really stole one there. Could prove to be vital. What does he do? Stay there? He does for double 15. Oh, it's spectacular. It's sort of like. Humphries getting within striking distance. But this is for a break. Great mark. Does not make use of it. Well, this is where Humphreys can be quite efficient. But doesn't get a treble. And Gary won't mind having another go here. Applying a bit of pain to his opponent. Ooh, moving to the right. So he's looking to go over the top of it. Now double three. And those are the shots. They can get messy, they can get awkward, but Gary Anderson makes... He, he realises I can sustain a, a run too. Yeah, and this is confidence in his own abilities, born out of the fact that he's been absolutely sensational. Look, TV tournaments, he's been in the semi-finals or better in more than half of them over the last 12 months. Double 16. He's there. Back-to-back -back legs for Luke Humphreys means he's only two behind. Hold his throw and keep Humphreys at something approaching a manageable distance. Double top. For 
Again, was he just losing his shape there a bit? Seemed to lunge with that last dart. What a dart. And he hit tops. Yes, he can. And the roar from Coolhand tells you he believes he can turn this one around. The ninth 180 for Anderson. It will not be a second 170 finish for Luke Humphreys in this game. But he does chip away at it. Oh, just a little too, too much aim in those darts. Too much try instead of do. Do or do not. There is no try. Do! That's what Luke Humphreys has done. To come to the board with 10 left, it's not as bad a deal as, like as I say, the last dart when you've been around the seeing all the doubles visiting him. Humphreys here attacking the Anderson throw. Looking to lead in this match. That is not any use to him. 169, bogey number. Yeah, I, should, I think he should have stayed on the 20s there. He was trying to get a little cute at the 18s instead because the single would have been better. But now it's cost him. He needs two trebles. Oh, one treble and two doubles. Okay. Well, that doesn't help him at all. And so Luke Humphreys, can he get ahead for the first time in this game, having trailed 5-1? Double 12. There's good points in this match where Gary's been able to punish. And this is another chance to do just that. Double 18. This time, Humphreys leads this match. Well, there you have it there. There's only been two legs in this whole game, which have been completed in 16 to 18 darts, six visits to the board. Luke Humphreys has won both of those. Look at the lack of energy in that last visit from Anderson, throwing that to 20s. 47. To me, Luke has, is using more energy, delivering the darts sharper. It was a little better from Gary, but... Still not quite all there. Doesn't need to go to the 14 segment, so picks off the treble 16 for double eight, and it's another leg for Luke Humphreys. Right now. Oh, come on. A demanding man. Already had one nine data came from Luke Humphreys. Good mate, Ryan So Never had a grand slam with more than one nine data. Well, you know, some of the usual suspects are, are no longer in. So we have to rely on the maybe the likes of Luke here. Well, he hadn't hit nine darts until this year. He's hit three. Still searching for that first one on the telly. But this is good from Anderson. It's down to a finish. It's that 1 3 2, which is flashy but not easy. Humphreys will be on something more makeable. Definitely called that, but a 1-3-2 is doable. Josh, Rock had one earlier. Tops for Gary Anderson to get one. He did a dead relief finish on tops. When what brilliant finishing in this match. Fighting against the tide, but he is fighting. As we saw with those fifth session, session averages, things have toned down into the 90s just lately. I think as they become more deliberate, they're actually not playing as well. You know, the, the idea of being deliberate is you're going to play better, get more, be more focused. But I think it takes away from these sorts of players. Humphreys keeps on coming. He's been all business tonight. He's had the 1 3 2. Two tops for a 1 3 1. That looks good. 
That is magnificent! Gary Anderson! It is vintage! Difficult to separate them. I almost don't see how it cannot go to the final 31st leg. There's too much willpower in each of these two. They'll do enough to keep it going. He's already hit a 170 in this game. He will not add another, and Gary Anderson. He was 12-9 down. He might be about to go into the lead again. Another 15. Oh, he's hit the treble. Well, I was saying about third dart double fives being a little trickier than when you go to the board with three in hand. Oh, Gary Anderson! The 1-3-1 one, one was special, but that... That took guts. But he also knows if he fails to hold throw this leg, then Luke will have to throw for the match. So there's a fair bit on this leg. Especially now. Luke Humphreys with another maximum. Anderson hits back with one of his own. We saw lots like this early in the match. Oh, how about another? And that cost him a, being on an outshot. And Anderson will be on an outshot. He should be. He needs to get his numbers right here. Well, that doesn't work. 166. Six. It, it was a little greedy. Could have should have went 18s there. Huge moments coming up in this one. Luke Humphreys needs to find a break of throw. He may not get a better chance than this. Anderson making a mess. It's not good, but he leaves 120, a Shanghai finish, very makeable. But only if he gets a go at it. Double 13. Humphreys back in front! Okay. Humphreys senses that the win is within touching distance. One good setup shot and then take it out, and it is brilliant. It's not quite perfect, but he will get a look. Anderson must get 140, at least. To really put true pressure. Okay, 134 would have worked. To win it. An incredible contest. Double 16. Match dart missed, and has Anderson got one more magic trick up his sleeve? Four ton plus checkouts already in this game for the Flying Scotsman. He cannot make it five. Luke Humphreys, double 16. Double eight. He's in the semi-final.